trying to eat healthy, but still unsure what's off limits. What can you eat? What can't you eat? No worry, you are in the right place today. I'm gonna take you step by step to show you just how you can still enjoy the foods that you love without denying yourself from eating healthy. Welcome guys, as you see here, I picked up some fresh fish from my local market and if all possible guys, go fresh instead of those frozen packets that you find at the grocery stores. I have here this nice thick meaty piece of cod. Oh, look at there guys, this is some good fish we have here and we're gonna mix it up a bit with one of my other favorite fishes, tilapia. Oh, I love me some tilapia guys. And we're also going to pair these up with some delicious shrimp. Oh yes, we are having us a fish and shrimp fry. It's going down in Betty's kitchen. Oh yes. Okay, my friends, we have our cod and our tilapia all seasoned nicely with some garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and a little sea salt. Now we can move on to prepare our batter. Guys, as you know, wheat-based products contain high amounts of carbs, such as the all-purpose flour that's normally used in batters for baking and frying foods. So in order to keep our meal low-carb, gluten-free and keto-friendly, we're gonna substitute the flour with this unflavored wheat protein powder, which is a much healthier alternative. For our batter, we're going to need two-third cups of our wheat protein powder. Okay guys, get out a large bowl here and let's get started on our batter. Starting with our dry ingredients first, and in goes our protein powder. which we're gonna combine with a quarter cup of almond flour, which will help create that cornmeal texture that we're going for. And we're also going in with two teaspoons of baking powder. Now for our wet ingredients, very simple guys. We have about a quarter cup of water here. We're going to gradually pour in the water a little bit at a time, adding more if necessary at the end just to loosen it a bit if we need to. Next, we're going to add in two large eggs. Now go ahead and mix everything up together really good until we get that consistency of the batter that we're looking for. Once we get that consistency that we desire, we can add in our seasoning now and continue to stir as we combine all of this flavor in. And even though our fish has already been seasoned, guys, we still want to make sure our batter has flavor as well. This is going to be the crispy coating around the fish, the first layer that your teeth bite into and we want a delicious sensation honey from the exterior all the way to the tender meat oh yes my friends flavor and more flavor remember this you can never have enough flavor now for our oil we're going with the avocado oil this and extra virgin olive oil are the best choices among the class of unsaturated oils. They both provide an excellent source of antioxidants, which is good for your heart health and it helps with inflammation. And guys, it doesn't impose any harm to your cholesterol levels as the saturated fats and oils do. And those we wanna stay away from guys, the vegetable oils, the sunflower oils, and the canola oils, Avoid those, okay? Back over to our batter. We're gonna dip our fish into the batter. 
making sure both sides are well coated and then allowing the excess to drip off before we put them into the oil. And in it goes. Let's give them one more flip on each side. Oh, look at there, guys. These babies are frying up so nicely. See his beautiful golden coat fried to a nice crisp, yet nice and tender in the inside. Oh, this is beautiful. These lovely babies are done. We can take them out and rest them over here on the cooling rack to allow the excess oil to dry off. While our second batch is down, I'm over here cleaning and peeling our super jumbo shrimp. Guys, when you're cleaning raw shrimp, you'll notice a thin black stringy line running down the back. That has to be removed, guys. Do not leave that in your shrimp. The proper term is called deveining the shrimp. But because you guys are my friends and I love you, I'm not gonna lie to you and have you thinking those are veins. Oh no, baby. On the back side of the shrimp, that's the digestive tract. And the black line that you see, that's not a vein, that's poop. So de-poop your shrimp before you go serving that to folks, you hear? <laughs> okay, my friends, our second batch is looking good. We have our cod right here. As you can see, it's a much chunkier piece of fish than the tilapia. Oh, look at there, guys. This cod is such a beautiful, crispy coat. And, and just think, guys, we didn't use any flour nor any cornmeal. And look at the results. It's not much difference, huh? So let's get these on the cooling rack with the others so we can finish up our shrimp here. Let's place this right here. Now, guys... Here's a shrimp already cleaned and seasoned with black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little Old Bay seasoning. With our hands, we're gonna massage all the seasoning thoroughly throughout our shrimp. As I mentioned before, we're using the same batter for our shrimp and the same pan. The oil is already hot and these shrimp will be ready in no time. So let's get these shrimp loaded in here. Give it a good mixing with your hands. We want to drench our shrimp with this batter. Go ahead and work it in real good. Thoroughly coat all this delicious flavor over your shrimp. Oh, see here? This is how you want it coated, baby. Just like this here. Ah, you hear that sizzling? That is what you want to hear. It lets you know that the oil is nicely heated at the temperature that we need it to be. So we can go ahead and drop these babies in. Ta-da! And here you have it. delicious listen if you are looking for inspiration and meal ideas for low carb and keto friendly recipes this is the place right here on carblessly delicious where i upload videos every week with low carb and keto friendly recipes guys you have to give this a try you will love it by simply substituting the flour with our whey protein powder and our almond flour. We were able to yield the same delicious results as most traditional recipes without depriving ourselves of taste. 
All right, guys. I love you. And until the next video, go ahead, check out some more delicious recipes that I believe you will love just as much.